Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you for your love and support for this channel. And with that said, let's get on with business. As you know, this year is the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby. The most exciting two minutes in sports. The biggest race, the biggest field, the most difficult to handicap. Over 300 horses nominated for the Triple Crown race, and only 20 made it to the Kentucky Derby field, and only one can win the race. With that said, here's all my top three picks for this year running for the roses, starting with number three, Fierceness. Here's the race in the Florida Derby that bring him back into the spotlight once again, make people think seriously of him as the top contender to win the Derby. The lead, so fierceness will land the front and then run to the opening quarter. In between horses, Ladombro out three wide is catalytic, and Granmo the first is at the rail. They're followed by Real Macho, who races outside of Hades. Hades is about three and a half lengths off the speed, ahead of Iris's dream. Covered up between horses is Conquest Warrior, and the early trailer is Frankie's Empire. The opening quarter just 24 seconds flat. Fierceness on his eight games so far. He's a length in front over Catalytic, a wide second. In between horses, Ladombro, Granmo, the first is at the rail. Real Macho works out in the center, racing in front of Hades. Then Iris's Dream and Conquest Warrior still at the back, but in the clear is Frankie's Empire. And with the half in 47 and 2, they have the favorite to catch. It's Fierceness to the far turn on top by a length and a half. Working harder is Catalytic at the rail, Granmo the first. Ladombro has to quicken, but he's not. At the rail, it's Conquest Warrior trying to launch his bid. Frankie's Empire is wide on the course, but Johnny V still sitting pretty on Fierceness, who tries to sneak away. Three quarters, 111 and 1, they run to the 5 16 and Fierceness, he is getting away. He's now four in front. Catalytic is second, Grandmo the first is third. On the outside, Frankie's Empire, Conquest Warrior at the rail, but they all have too much to do. Fierceness is putting on a show in Hallandale today. Fierceness, the real Fierceness. You got good records, good earning. Five races, three wins, zero plays, one show. The Breeders' Cup Juvenile Champion. Front runner, got tons of speed. Most likely will lead the field in the Kentucky Derby, but he is awfully inconsistent. Consistency is not his game. He can win big this time and lose big the next time. He's on and off. And I'm not sure about the distance either. One and a quarter miles, maybe too far for him. We just don't know. So that's why he is number three. Let's move on, guys. Number two, Forever Young. Here in the Saudi Derby, he stormed out from the middle of the pack, turning for home and appeared to be flat in the middle of the stretch. All of a sudden, he woke up from a brief daydreaming and ran one hell of a race. Tornado and Bookham Dano forever young at this stage. He's flat. He's got three lengths still to find. 300 meters to do it as Bookham Dano moves through to lead for Irad Ortiz. Now forever young, but lately beginning to pick up. Bookham Dano needs the line now as forever young surges on the outside. And here from his last race. The race that made him one of the top contenders for the Derby, the UAE Derby, sitting at his usual spot, turning for home, he's 4-5 or five wide, and he made it look so easy in capturing the victory, even though this race is at the longest distance for a three-year-old this year, a mile and 316. And up in front, up on the running rail, Oasis Boy leads a narrow margin. Our Autobahn goes up to apply a bit of pressure, Forever Young, still traveling despite being deep as they make their way into the home stretch here in the UAE Derby. Then came Mendelssohn Bay, deeper out Navy Seal, not too far away, Panda Gate still with four to pick up. As they get into the running here, Autobahn takes over, Forever Young on the one ray there, but balances up now, comes up to the outside of Autobahn, who has to be brave. It's Forever Young, though, for Japan, who comes up to the outside of Autobahn. This Japanese superstar appears to be ready for the Derby. He is a force to be reckoned with. One hell of a racehorse. Got red, great record, great owning, 5-4-5. Five five. He got the stamina and talent to win this race. I put him at number two because this race is at Churchill Down. And as you know, the weather at Churchill Down always unpredictable. So I give the home team the advantage. And here is my number one pick, Sierra Leone. In the recent star stakes, a muddy track at fairgrounds. Turning for home, he almost dead last. 
but that didn't stop him. He was closing like a food truck on fire, trying to get to the water. Fame flattens out, chasing freedom, trying to keep a straight path, and Sierra Leone charging hard on the outside. It's track phantom, resilience, chasing freedom in tight quarters between horses. Sierra Leone on the outside for Tyler Gaffleone. Sierra Leone. And in the bluegrass, the race that made him the top derby contenders this year. He sit in his usual spot in the back of the pack and turning for home his 4-5 wide. But that didn't slow him down a bit. He won the race in a very convincing style and made it look so easy. And facing a lot of traffic to deal with onto the far turn. 46.48 seconds, the time for that first half mile. Top Connor, the leader. Top Connor leads a length and a half. Just a touch is second by a length to Epic Ride, who's third a half length. Doorknock is still there and fourth to the inside. And BU is in fifth and still seven lengths off the lead. Now Sierra Leone is toward the center of the pack, looking toward the outside. Eight lengths to make up. Just over a quarter mile to go. Top Connor is the leader. Epic Ride swings wide. Just a touch between horses. Doorknock has to shift lanes along with Sierra Leone. That pair out in the center of the track, still five lengths off the lead as they move by the eighth pole just a touch has taken the lead from top connor sierra leone is running on from the outside a 16th to go sierra leone this is a real deal guys he's one tough horse very talented and well suited to run at churchill downs his sire gunrunner was horse of the year in 2017 his breeding and pedigree should give him enough to cover the distance. All right, guys, those are my top three picks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like subscribe button. If you already done so, I appreciate, I appreciate your support very much. I just want to say thank you. And until next time, guys, I just want to wish you the best of luck. Have fun at wherever you're at. And until next time, take care.